This morning, the video drawing international attention. Ahmad Arbery, who's African American, is seen running on a Sunday afternoon in February in Brunswick, Georgia. Gregory McMichael and his son Travis, who are white, are in a pickup truck ahead, both armed. Travis fires a shotgun and kills Arbery. According to a police report, the father, Gregory McMichael, said there had been several break-ins in the neighborhood, and a man he viewed as the suspect was running down the street. He and his son grabbed their guns and went after him, thinking he could be armed. McMichael also said Arbery began to violently attack Travis. Arbery's mother says her son was just out for a daily jog. He was into fitness, and that's just something that he did. It's something that he enjoyed doing. An attorney for Arbery's family says he was unarmed and tried to avoid the truck. He says there's no evidence to suggest Arbery was committing a crime. Georgia does have a statute allowing citizen arrest. However, you must personally observe the crime. So you, it can't be you believe that someone may have committed a crime in the area in the recent uh, uh, past. Supporters of Arbery's family have organized protests. LeBron James, Viola Davis, and Wanda Sykes among those voicing outrage. NBC News has been unable to reach the McMichaels, but attorney Alan Tucker, who's known Gregory McMichaels for 30 years, says there isn't a prejudicial or racist bone in his body. Tucker says he released the cell phone video to get the truth out there. Two prosecutors recused themselves because of connections to the McMichaels, one of them from Waycross County, writing he thought their actions were perfectly legal and Travis McMichael was allowed to use deadly force to protect himself after Arbery allegedly initiated the fight and grabbed his shotgun. On Tuesday, the DA now responsible called for a grand jury to consider criminal charges. But because of coronavirus closures, that can't happen until June. What pains me the most is that he was killed, but then the authorities, they truly, they let me down. Instead, two suspects, a father and son, are being held without bail tonight, charged with murdering her son, Ahmad Arbery. Here's CBS's Omar Villafranca with new details on a story we first reported on Tuesday. Travis and Gregory McMichael made their first court appearance this afternoon, one day after they were arrested in the killing of Ahmad Arbery. Travis faces felony murder and aggravated assault charges, while Gregory faces party to felony murder and aggravated assault. Both were denied bail. Happy Dozens of people released balloons this morning in Brunswick, Georgia, to honor Arbery. Ten weeks after the armed father-son duo chased Arbery down in their truck while he was reportedly jogging near his mother's house. 911 was addressing. In the McMichaels 911 call on February 23rd, they claimed Arbery was a burglary suspect. <laughs> Cell phone video of the incident shows the McMichaels tried to block Arbery, which led to a physical confrontation with Travis, who was holding a shotgun. Arbery was shot twice and stumbled to the ground. Questions remain on if the man who shot the video, William Bryant, will face charges. Aubrey's mother, Wanda Cooper Jones, says she was stunned when she learned of the arrests. As we waited over two months and they hadn't been arrested and the GBI had it for, what, two days and we got an arrest. So I was really, it was a shock and it was really a shock. Did you worry that your prayers were not going to be answered? I, I'm going to be honest. At times my faith was tested, but at the end of the day, I knew that he would come through. She probably won't watch the video of her son's death because it's too painful. There's a 2.23 mile run tomorrow in Brunswick, Georgia. 2.23 is February 23rd, the day that Arbery was killed. Nora? Omar, thank you for covering this story from the beginning. And there is still much more news ahead on.